Alright, this one's gonna be on something we did in the past, but this is a minor update. Uh -huh. If you remember, we did, uh, was that, Sopcast from the command line? And if you don't know what Sopcast is, it's basically a P2P streaming thing you can do. And basically it allows to watch uh, channels. And uh, I talked about this a long time ago, but, you know, here's some minor updates um, from what we did a long time ago. But you can see you can watch... Um, was at this channel soon wait until it connects first um, but uh, the code is different because it actually pings the port now uh, the IP import instead of like uh, we did before it was like a sleep time but anyways uh, this discovery channel here and we can go full screen because uh, um, you know we can use MPV or VLC or any other player that uh, you know works with this but uh, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna Change the code a little bit because uh, I forgot what we did last time. What was the other one? Um, oh, yeah, here's the original code here. If you remember this, when was this um, done? 2014, four shitty years ago. Okay, uh, we did this and I uh, told you to use a sleep time in the past, but that's just stupid. We have a better way to do this now. And this one will just ping the IP and port, and once it gets a, uh, I guess a reply or something like that, it will actually execute the next command, and it's much more convenient that way, instead of like trying to time it with a sleep time. Anyways, uh, this is the difference here. We use until NC, and NC stands for netcat, I believe. Let me check that. What package was that one? Uh, NC. We'll wait and see what packages belong to. GNU Netcat. There you go. All right. So there you go. That's what you need to install if you want to use this thing here. But it will do it until NC, blah, blah, blah. And it will connect to our uh, IP and in our port. Um, and it's going to do that every two seconds. It's going to keep checking. So basically, it's pinging it. And once it gets a reply that uh, we're looking for, um, it will actually execute the next command, which is our player right and our player can be you know uh, MPV um, any of these crap up here let me show you here it can be like a uh, uh, CVLC which is the command line VLC or you can use the GUI VLC too if you want just make sure you comment it out you know the ones that you want to use this is the one I, I'm using I like it in the corner so that's why I have all these other flags for MPV um, but generally that's the only difference between this one and the old one uh, if you haven't watched the old video, you definitely need to watch it because I show you how to get channels and stuff like that, right? And, uh, you know, you have to put the channels into, like, a function kind of thing. And, you know, after that, you just, you know, use uh, Z shell if you want to do, like, autocomplete. And then you can go, let's say, for example, we do Disney Junior or whatever. I believe it's another language, but, you know, you get the idea. You can still watch it. So we'll see here. Uh, you see that it's pinging the port, and the port is we're using local uh, host, and local host is just uh, 127, blah blah blah. And once it's done, you know it'll connect to um, the channel uh, in a minute here. So this is uh, Disney Junior here, right? Pretty simple. So I'll show you that again up here up top. Where is that one? Uh, we get it. So basically, it's doing is uh, it's pinging the uh, local host and in the port. And you see that every two seconds is going to check it. Uh, it'll do it again and again. It'll say connection refused. It'll keep doing that. And then once it sees, oh, it's open now, it'll do the, the next command, you know, which is to use uh, MPV in this case. And uh, that's how we watch the stream. Uh, it connects to the Sopcast program. Uh, which was it called? Um, What's uh, called this one here? SPSC. That's the Sopcast program in the background. Um, that's what's going to connect to using our MPV program to connect to it, and then it will watch it. Anyways, that is the difference. Uh, what other code I have in here that's I'm using? So as far as the channel, I mean, you still have to like look for the channel, but uh, I use this site here, like I said before. Uh, this one here. Do I have it open? I think I have it open here. But basically, you know, you go to that channel and what they do in here is that they actually have like every couple of months they will post like a 
a playlist or, or the channel list of the Sobcast. And that's not the one I want down here. All right, so this is the channels. And this one was back in December 2017. I'm still waiting for the 18, but uh, usually it doesn't change that much. But I got really lazy of copying this every time. Um, so what I did was created my own little function here to create the channels, right? So let's say, if, for example, I don't have these channels anymore. Uh, let's say we'll delete it here, right? We'll delete all this. And you know, maybe like in, in like a couple months, um, they updated this something else. I would just copy this whole thing. Or is it? I'll copy this. And what do we do here? We'll put it in our uh, downloads directory, and we'll copy. We'll put this into um, Vim or something. I'll say new channels dot txt and we're just gonna paste this here all right so clean all right just one line for the title one line for the uh i guess the url or the channel uh link all right and from there uh we're gonna use our little function and our function is called sop rip <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do when we sop rip and we're gonna do new channels, and basically what it's gonna do is uh, actually create like uh, the function names that I prefer to use. So we will do like SPP, and then it'll you know have the name of the channel, and then the um, you know the URL or the uh, address to the channel, and then if you want to copy to your uh, clipboard, oops, that's not it. Copy to your clipboard. We'll do a pipe. And we can pipe into PB copy, and we'll copy to our clipboard. Oh, what is a PB copy? Because that's not that's my alias. PB copy. There you go. PB copy is basically X clip selection clipboard. All right. So this one here. That's what we're doing here. All right. We'll copy that to our clipboard, and then we go back here, and then we're gonna just paste it into our. Um, you know, uh, alias RC or bash RC or ZSH RC, whatever you want to use. Um, that's what we're doing here. And now we have our channels. Now, some of them they have the same name, like this one, antenna one here. So I guess you can put A, uh, B, C, and, you know, you get the idea. And once you save it, uh, you can reload your shell and you can do, you know, it, I don't know if this one works because you know we'll, we'll wait and see here. But you see, you'll do the same thing again. Ping the uh, IP. Uh, we're doing localhost, so that's the IP that we're using, and then the port. Now, if it doesn't get no response, it'll keep keep continuing, and you have to like you know control C out of it. But this one has a response, so let's see if it works. Um, hopefully it does. I haven't even tried this one. Uh. Okay, there we go. Look, there we go. See, and then we have the channel, and we can watch it if you want, um, so on and so forth. Anyways, that's my um, little alias for that website because I got too lazy of manually doing <laughs> the functions, and I saw the pattern that it was just you know the title and then uh, the address to it. So I just do a uh, while read to grab those and create a function out of it. Anyways, uh, post this in the description if you want to do this, right? Uh, really not that hard. It's just, you know, uh, pu put all these functions and make sure you need you need to install Sopcast. And in Arch, um, I have it all up here. In Arch, uh, they have like, you know, um, Sopcast for 64-bit, 32-bit, and Debian and Ubuntu. It's usually called SP... A U T H here, all right. Anyhow, uh, definitely you need to watch my um, other video before you watch before you do this one, so you can actually understand how to use it properly. Uh, but that's the mini update. Uh, four years ago, I'm still using it and still awesome. That'd be it for this one.